I think if I got, oh, shit. Let's try to be slick with it. No, they don't. Hey, it might be. It might be L. L overdoses or her si- or his sister. Shit, L and Becca both be on drugs. But L, see, the difference is L doesn't do drugs for recreational purposes. L does it to, you know, just level her out. You feel me? Sometimes you got to just, like me, when I get, I get nervous on here. Y'all don't be knowing it, but every time I get on these lives, I'm in the mirror. I'm smacking myself. I'm trying to get focused. I get nervous when I get on here. I'm really a shy person. So that's why you see me drink when I get on here because I'm shy. I don't have the words to say to you guys. I be nervous. You know? I be feeling like Braden is right now. Well, they got her on oxygen, so it's probably L. They wouldn't have brought up L and showed everything that she's going through because Braden was finally relating with somebody. So I don't think it's Becca. I don't think we're even going to see any more of the Westons, to be honest. There's really no other reason to see the Westons. Because Braden got kicked out. So Braden is on the road. Hmm. All right. So in these five episodes, Braden is in school. He isn't in school. Braden, he doesn't have a job. He's just following Tariq around. Do we believe that the Weston family is going to accept Braden back? in the end is it going to be a fairy tale ending excuse me i mean we got all the characters to go through but is it going to be a fairy tale ending for Braden, or is he just going to be stuck like chuck oh that ain't me man that's youtube bro i'm over here it's youtube brother they got this new thing where it does it by itself yeah it says yeah, let YouTube insert mid rows for you. Recommend it. Yeah, so YouTube just puts them in there. Come on, man. Try to put that on me. If I want your money, hit the cash app. M O E D O T J. It's pinned in the chat. No fairy tale endings in power. Uh. No, I really there ain't. <laughs> I'm trying to think who had a good ending. Yes, Yaz got a pretty good ending. Two bit, pretty good ending. Jenny Blanca, uh, not Jenny Blanca, she's still working. Jenny Sullivan. The writing room is so bad, they probably won't show them again. Nah, come on, man. We can't we can't knock the writing room. You know, I know. Got a relationship with some of the writers over there at uh at the Power Universe. You know what I mean? I got a little relationship with them. They don't give me any information though, so don't ask me for none of that. Don't give me any spoilers. But you know, they watch, they watch the channel, you know, they contact me. I don't I don't I really don't when you really think about it, what is what is Braden's storyline? This season, Braden really has no storyline. It's just Tariq, whatever you want to do, I'm doing it, Tariq. He doesn't have a family. Well, he got L, but now the product is down in the uh in the club. But we know that Noma, she's pulling up on it. <laughs> hey, but can we really say two bit got his car took? Because two bit took the car. So it's not like it. If I steal something from you and you take it back, that's really not stealing. Is you getting your shit back? You see what I mean? So, two bits still alive. And he ain't in jail and he ain't rat. So, Trace could be in the hospital. Nah. What? Are we trying to say? Are we trying to say Braden and Trace they gonna amend their relationship? I don't know, man. It's been too much. Remember, Kane went over there and whooped Trace ass looking for Braden. So I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be that.
I, I really don't. I can't. Well, all right. So in the trailer, let's let's continue on. Let's see. Because they only show Braden three times in this trailer. And another one of the moments is right here. Now, I was trying to piece this together with Bra where Braden is at with this room looking like this. And the only thing I could come up with as far as what the trailer showed us is this moment right here. So look at this room. It's kind of dark in here. We got the, uh, the red curtains, the yellow light. Does this look like Braden has a gun in the same room that Tariq is getting choked out in? Does this look like the same type of room? Because this looks like Zion choking him out, if I can tell by that ring. Are they trying to say that Braden might shoot Zion to get him off of Tariq? Because Tariq has gloves on. He in all black. I don't know, man. Could... See, now I want to put on my thinking cap. You know what I mean? Feel like Blue's Clues. Braden's in L's room? Nah, 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 nah. Remember, L, I'm going to show you. L's room is the, she's the girl that got that, you know what I'm talking about. L is the spiritual girl. When you go over there, there's a distinctive smell when you go into her room. Like right? she likes candles, incense. She does all that sage shit that doesn't really do anything. It's a it's, it's a smell over in her room. You know, not a bad smell, but you know, like when you smell that, okay, L is around. But this isn't L's room. She had like beads and stuff on the wall. This is what L, I mean, yeah, this is what L's room looks like. See, this is what L's room looks like. So he ain't over there. Effie's room? Uh... Give me a, give me a second. You know I got a, uh, I got an Effie room picture. I don't think it's Effie's room. I can't find. I don't know where that could be at, though. But anyway, Brayden got a gun. Now, we're supposed to be seeing Brayden step on some stuff. They've been telling me that Brayden is supposed to be stepping on stuff. That's what I've been instructed. Jada said the scene is connected to the part two teaser with Braden and Tariq running up on that guy. Uh, let me see if I know what you're talking about. Okay. I want to make a move. Does Brayden have the Amiri sweater on? He has a hoodie on, but in this teaser, he is going to the dorm room. So maybe he goes to the dorm room and he finds L in here and he had to take her to the hospital. Oh, so he's going to L's room. He finds her. They got to go to the hospital, but this gun is a different. What's next? Cut up our game. No, I know not that scene, but it just hit me. What's next? This scene, he may be going to the room and he finds L, and then that's how they end up at the hospital because he has the Mary sweater on at the hospital. Come on, man. I'm connecting dots as we go. Next. Cut up our game. Y'all talking about right here? Maybe so, because he got this over here, so. 
Y'all talking about this scene right here? Oh, interesting. So y'all been waiting for me to get on here. Okay. Y'all like, man, when this nigga Mo gonna talk about this damn trailer? Okay, we jumping around a little bit. I might need to go get some yak. It's early in the night. And we over here trying to figure out Braden's storyline. You know it's a good night when you can talk 20 to 30 minutes about Braden and trying to figure out what the fuck Braden got going on. Usually Braden, we just skip over what he talk about. He's with L, but now we actually doing some investigative work. All right, so who is this guy? Who do we believe this guy is? He's selling some drugs on their turf? This could be the guy giving L bad drugs. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute. Put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if you've seen uh, J. Dot Bandu before. Put a two in the chat if you've never seen J. Dot Bandu in this chat before. J. Dot, thanks for joining the channel. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. I might have to promote you to one of my deputies. You came in here, we've never seen you before, and you're pointing out things that I may have overlooked. Now, Zay caught on to it, but who are you, J-Dot? I'm Modot. Nice to meet you. I work with, oh, okay, you know Fair Play. All right. Interesting. All right. J-Dot might be part of the team. The Moets. Or should I say the Moets? All right, so Braden and them, they pulling up on this guy. It's re Oh, wait a minute. We got something. We got something. Here we go. We wind it back. So before we pull up on this guy, now we now we kind of making some sense. There we go. Good shit. Good. Just what we needed. Just what we needed. All right. So before we get to this scene, boom. Braden pulls up to L's room. Excuse me. Braden pulls up to L's room. He's trying to get some cutty. Now, he doesn't go to this school. He's facing trespassing charges every time he steps one foot on the campus. L, you in there? I see the light on. I don't know if that's an incident or what it is, but I can smell you in there, girl. Open up. L, open up. Oh, the door's unlocked. He goes in and discovers L. Is MIA. L is passed out. Boom. He takes L to the hospital. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> I knew she shouldn't have been doing them. I should have just supplied her with my drugs. Whoever she was getting it from was some bullshit. I should have just gave her my coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to cry. I'm going to call Tariq. We're going to get even. <laughs> L, don't worry. I'm going to avenge your death. Tariq, where you at, man? Man, nigga, I'm trying to move this work. Nigga, I'm down at the club. Nigga, where you at, nigga? I'm at the hospital, man. They got L, man. Her shit was stepped on 10 times. What do you mean? They got L. I told you to stop fucking with her, Brayden. Tariq, I don't have time right now. I mean, she's in the hospital. She's hurting, man. Whoever did this, I got to get them. I got to get them, Tariq. All right, calm down. Calm down. All right. Let me see. I'm going to go talk to Effie, and I'm going to see if Effie can run the operation for me for a little bit, and I'm going to come with you. <laughs> Make it quick, because if not, I'm going by myself, Tariq, and you don't know what I'm capable of, man. I finally had someone that knew me and loved me for who I was. Get here quickly. All right, man. Boom. Then from there, Braden and Tariq, they link up. Next. Bugging. Boom. They show up at this dude's house. This dude is the supplier for L, and they're like, get on the ground, motherfucker, because when have we ever seen Braden leading the charge? Tariq is always leading the charge. 
But Tariq is smart. Tariq is like, you go ahead and you be the front man because that's your girl. And like a real nigga, I'm not getting shot over some shit you and your girl got going on. You already know Mo don't get involved in domestic disputes. So I'm going to follow you in there, Braden. I got your back. Bang, bang. You feel me? So Braden goes in there on the ground, you motherfucker, because he's white. So he got to say motherfucker with the ER at the end instead of motherfucker with an A at the end. Get on the ground, motherfucker. You been giving bad drugs to girls. He says, man, I don't know what you're talking about. You know L. She's in the hospital because of your drugs. And Tariq's in there like, damn, Braden, come on, man. We ain't getting no money out of this. We got five episodes left, nigga. We can't be tripping off of no vagina, even though I am. But we can't be tripping off of no vagina. Braden's like, Tariq, you don't even know what's going on right now. No, fuck that. Who are you getting your drugs from? And then Tariq comes up with the bright idea. You stop getting drugs from whoever you getting drugs from, and you work for us now. Ah, okay. Okay. Look at me piecing this together. Hey, shout out to J. Dot and Zay. Now we getting somewhere. Braden got a storyline. All right, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Yeah, the scenes are out of order. I didn't say when this is gonna happen. I'm just putting them together from what I see. From what I see. Okay, so Tariq has on a hoodie with the C on it. So let's see if that's him getting choked out in the same scene. Nah, collar ain't got the white. So this, this is getting choked out by Zion. And he got gloves on. Tariq ain't got gloves on in the other photo. Nah, Tariq came in there barehanded. All right, cool, 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 cool. So this is next. So episode six, Tariq and Braden must find a way to get back in Noma's good graces. Monet fights to get her family from that, blah, blah, blah. Diana faces, um, Diana's face was stepping further into the game or risking her family. No, 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 it ain't that. Oh, episode seven, y'all. When tragedy strikes, Tariq and the Tejadas are set on them. No, nah, well, tragedy. I thought the tragedy would be something. No, nah, it ain't that. Oh, this is probably when Drew gets arrested. Tariq and Monet try to leverage, get out of there. Kane and Drew compete for the streets. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Episode eight. An incident with Braden's relationship with L sends him off the deep end. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So that's around episode eight. They're going to be in the hospital. Uh, episode eight, eh? Episode eight, we're going to see Braden turning up a little bit. So maybe I was right. Maybe he does go to the room and see Elle in there. He takes her to the hospital, which is going to lead him off the deep end to take him to that house where he has the gun and they're going to whoever this dealer is. Ah, good shit. Hey, shout out to J-Dot. You know what I'm saying? Salute to J-Dot. You are an honorary. No, nah, you're not an honorary deputy. Fuck that. You are a deputy and you are on the payroll now. We do this each and every Friday night. Now, I'm going to miss the first Friday because I'm going to be in Amsterdam with the family when it comes back. But fuck them. I'm going to tell them I'm going to go out in Amsterdam, do my one-two step. But we're going to do a live that night. I'm probably going to do it outside in the city. But we're going to do a live that night. I'm going to have to talk about that first episode back. So around episode eight is when Braden's going to start acting a damn fool. Mm. All right. Nine, is there anything else about Braden? No, the union, uh, nope. Ten, checkmate. All right, so Tariq isn't getting choked out with Braden. All right, there we go. I mean, that's pretty cool. So Braden's highlight of the season is going to be with L and him crashing out. All right, I can fuck with that. That that's cool. That gives us some action with Braden because they ain't really showed Braden no love this season. Excuse me. Other than his family leaving him, he ain't really had no love this season. I respect it. 
Oh, come on, Eric. You got a wrench next to you. Come on, Eric. You got a wrench next to you. Man, you been in here. I'm just saying we ain't seen J-Dot, and J-Dot is coming in here, and he's giving us some clues. That's what I like. That's what I like. Point out the stuff that we don't see, man. Point out the... Come on, you got a wrench next to your name. You fam. Eric, Eric be hitting me. I talk to Eric. Y'all believe it or not, I talk to Eric every single day, whether it's him sending me five memes or I'm sending him five memes. I talk to Eric like every single day. So, yeah, Eric, come on, man. You fam. Kendall, that's my number one mod. That's the first person I made of my That's my sister right there. I talk to her, man. She be hitting me up on Discord. Boy, you need to do this. You need to do this. I'm like, all right, Kendall, my bad. My bad. I got work. I'm at work. I'm y'all. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, man. Come on, man. It's hot as a motherfucker. Y'all can't tell over here, but I, I'm trying to keep my cool. All right.